everybody. This is John J. R. Robinson, and I am at Billboard Live in Tokyo. It's really, really great to be back here. I was here last year, and now I'm going to come back every year. And I am here with my new band, and I call it our new band, SRT, featuring Andrew Sinewick on guitar, Mitch Town on Hammond B3 organ, and yours truly, John J.R. Robinson. It's an honor to be here. Um, I'm known for uh, being a groove-oriented drummer. I specifically enjoy, get happiness from playing grooves. And I like to make people get up and dance and, and uh, have that reflect in all the records that I've recorded or in live situations that I'm in. For example, with SRT or Quincy Jones or David Foster. And um, so I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna play a simple eighth note groove from my style. And my style, I, with the kick drum, wherever the kick drum lies is word. It's downbeat or it could be later, but it's exactly in tempo. So if I go one, two, three. So if I'm not playing, I still hear that groove. So wherever that is, that's the mark of the metronomic meter. So if I were to just play a groove around that with just using a hi-hat and a snare drum and a kick drum, I could easily play it really robotic and straight. And I'm going to tell you how to do that, which I don't apply it very much, is this is called the shank of the stick and the bead and the butt, the shank. So you could just play in the hi-hat on the shank, straight eighth notes. It's kind of like boring. It doesn't have any soul. But if I were to play the one and three, boring. It's almost like I'm going like this on a machine, right? So it has no soul. So let's say I added the snare drum with that same concept. So it's like, and I always make this joke, it's like a machine. So if I were to do that and the snare drum is also going to be perfectly on two and four. So I'm going to go Now notice how stiff I am. I'm specifically and purposely playing stiff. So when you look at that metronomically, each note is hitting exactly perfectly as though I were quantized. That's not the way I play. So let's play the JR way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, that's going to be the same tempo, the kick's going to be the same on one and three. The snare drum's going to be on two and four, but I'm going to lay the snare drum back between three and five milliseconds. So how does that then fit in with the hi-hat? Well, every downbeat will, on the hi-hat will be with the bass drum, and every, every two and four will be the hi-hat. I'm going to have to pull the groove back one and two and three and four and three and two and three and four. And the way I achieve that by using something I call a shank tip, shank tip method. Instead of robotic straight, I go or robot JR. Now I'm gonna do the whole thing. We'll do robot. That feels way better. So we're, if I'm playing in some sort of a groove, I'm going shank tip, shank tip, shank tip. Now there are times when I will just play the tip. So I'm going to 
dynamically bring it down so it softens it softens the groove but I'm still not going to lose any intensity from the kick drum or the snare drum so Now, one other thing you may have noticed, I am not always playing rim shots. I, I most of the time start dead center in the snare drum. Pull the sound out of the drum. Any drum, you don't, you don't put it in, pull it out. So. Then you can start going. And that would be groove.